everyone welcome back to my youtube channel physios healing touch so today in this video i will tell you about knee flexion and knee extension mmt so first i will tell you about knee flexion mmt important muscles for knee flexion are biceps femoris semi tendinous semi membranous and some other muscles are gracilis tfl sartorius popliteus gastrocnemius and plantaris Normal range of motion of knee flexion is 0 to 135 degrees. For grade 3, position of the patient will be prone line and therapist will be standing beside the patient. Then ask the patient to bend the knee as far as possible. If patient completes full range of motion then grade 3 is good then progress to grade 4. In grade 3 there will be no resistance. For grade 4, the patient and therapist position will be same. Then ask the patient to flex the knee at around 90 degree or less than 90 degree. The therapist will apply resistance just about the ankle joint. In this case, I am checking the strength of whole hamstring muscle. So there will be no rotation of the limb. Limb will be neutral position. In grade 4, therapist will apply moderate pressure and if patient can maintain this position for 10 seconds then the grade 4 is good. We can also check the MMT of biceps femoris semitendinous semimembranous muscles individually because sometimes some patients have more stronger biceps femoris as compared to semitendinous and semimembranous and that can result in asymmetry during knee flexion. So that's why we need to check them individually. Like for example, if a patient has more stronger biceps femoris, then that can lead to external rotation of lag during knee flexion because he has stronger biceps femoris and weak semitendinous and semimembranous muscles. To check semitendinous and semimembranous, the patient will internally rotate his leg that means his heel will be towards therapist and toes will be towards the midline and then the therapist will apply an oblique resistance at around 90 or less than 90 degree. The therapist will apply an outward and downward direction force, oblique direction force. Now to check the lateral hamstring, the therapist will laterally rotate his leg and then flex the knee. As you can see, toes are pointing towards the therapist and heel is away from the therapist. So patient is laterally rotating his leg and then the therapist will apply a moderate resistance in grade 4 just above the ankle. With the other hand, the therapist is palpating the lateral hamstring and in the medial hamstring test, the therapist will palpate medial hamstrings. And to check grade 5, all the positions will be same but therapist will apply maximal pressure and if therapist want to check all the hamstring muscle combinedly then there will be no rotation and he will apply maximal resistance. Now the common errors visible while taking this MMT is patient can use his hip flexors. As you can see he can flex his hip in order to compensate the weakness of hamstrings. So there should be no any kind of hip joint movement like abduction, adduction or any external rotation so that there should be pure knee flexion and no other movement. For grade 2, patient position will be in side line, his lower extremity will be flexed for stability and his upper extremity will be tested limb. And the therapist will be standing behind the patient and he will hold the tested limb from the medial side of the knee and ankle and then the patient will perform full range in gravity eliminated plane. Now remember therapist is not assisting or resisting any movement. Patient is doing all these movements voluntary. Now in grade 1 there will be no movement but if therapist will palpate the tendons will become prominent and in grade 0 there will be no muscular activity as well. Now I will tell you about knee extension MMT. So the important muscle for knee extension is quadriceps which consists of rectus femoris, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis and vastus medialis has two fibers, vastus medialis longus and vastus medialis oblique and the other muscles are TFL. Now in grade 3 in knee extension, patient will be in short sitting position. His hands will be placed above the bed for trunk stability and then ask the patient to perform knee extension. Now always remember patient should not extend his knee beyond 0 degrees. 
बिकॉज इन दैट पोजिशन नी बिकम लॉक एंड इन दैट लॉक नी पेशेंट कैन ईजिली सस्टेन दैट पोजिशन फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो वी कैन नॉट ईजिली आइडेंटिफाई द वीकनेस इन क्वाड्री सेप्स सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इट शुड बी नॉट बियॉन्ड जीरो डिग्रीज इन ग्रेड फोर थेरापिस्ट विल अप्लाई मॉडरेट रेजिस्टेंस जस्ट अबाउट द एंकल जॉइंट इन ए डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन If patient sustains this position for a few seconds then progress to grade 5 in grade 5 the therapist will apply maximal resistance and the positions will be same for grade 2 patient is in side line and his lower extremity is flexed for stability and his upper extremity is the tested limb which is grabbed by the therapist which is standing behind the patient therapist supports the tested limb from the medial side of thigh and ankle then ask the patient to straighten his knee now remember therapist is not assisting or resisting any movement for grade 1 there will be no movement but therapist can feel some muscular activity near the quadriceps insertion point and in grade 0 there will be no muscular activity as well if you like my video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel physios healing touch and please share my video to all your friends and in your groups so that they can also get benefit from my channel